this tutorial, you're going to need a set and you're going to need a subject for the animation. What you want to do is align your camera in the angle that you want. And then you are going to take a picture. This will be our clean frame once we start making the figure jump. As soon as you have your picture taken, you're going to need to get your subject and put them in frame. You're going to get your camera to focus. And then you're going to take the first picture. This will be the start of the your first jump frame taken. You're going to need to start animating the figure beginning to jump. So, I'm going to do that right now. Animated the figure jumping, it should look something like this. Now that it's finished with that, you're gonna need to build something like this. This will help the figure when you put it behind him jump up and create the motion of him rising from the ground. To build this, you take a one by one brick with the stud sticking out and another one by one underneath it. The reason you would use this instead of using bricks like this is that these will cover up the figure's shadow, making it look not as realistic. So what you want to do is you're going to take this, you're going to plug it in behind the figure. So when he goes up like that, it appears that he's being lifted off the ground. So then you're going to animate this, getting it as tall as you like to show how far he goes up. And then you're simply going to reverse animate that with him going down. finish animating him jumping up it should look something like this now that he has jumped up you're gonna need to make it, the impact happen so the figure will have to jump will have the impact so he will go down like this so what you're going to do is you're going to take a frame and he's gonna move down a little bit like he did to get the boost to start the jump he's gonna go down like this and then he's gonna go back up what you do is if you're using stop motion studio pro the app that i am using you're going to click on the frame the jumping and you're going to click the erase button and then you're going to click the rectangle and you're going to go to the beginning where you took your clean frame then what you're going to do is you're going to erase all the parts that you want to remove that show the figure actually jumping up. As soon as you do that, for this frame, you're going to do it for the other frame that you animated with. So it'd be something like this. So you're going to do this for the rest of the frames, and then your mini figure will be jumping. Get to watch the final product. And that is how you make a minifigure jump.